Now for these questions, I've used the word potential difference, but some boards use the word voltage. They just mean the same thing. So potential difference is measured in volts, current in amps, and resistance in ohms. So this letter here is a Greek letter omega. So ohms are the unit for resistance. Okay, um, and again, just reiterating that ammeters always go in series and voltmeters go in parallel because they look at the difference in the electrical potential between the, the start and the end of that component. We've then rearranged this equation uh, into two other forms and here we've just applied the equation, put in our numbers, and I've given the answer to two significant figures, so 10 volts, 1.5 volts. And the last one, again, we've got two significant figures here and a killer is 10 to the three, and milli is 10 to the minus 3. Um, so again, it's just worth looking at your prefixes that you might use, and I've just used standard form here to display that, to find that my answer to two significant figures was 4.1. For the table down here, uh, what I did was I choose the appropriate equation, I put in my numbers to find these answers, and when I displayed it over here, I gave all of my answers to two significant figures. So although this one here might be 0 0.05 on my calculator, I put 0 0.050 to two significant figures like the raw data that we have over here. Okay, on the other side, um, we've got a question about a hairdryer. Uh, so we've got a footballer here doing his hair. Um, the current for the first one was five amps. We just took the data from the question. And a lot of the time, if we're looking at mains appliances, they have a potential difference of 230 volts, which is why I use that figure. Uh, for the hair straighteners, we found that the resistance is 100 ohms. And in the next question, what we then had was just a circuit showing we've got the battery here. We've got R1 and R2 are the two resistors. R1 from this question here has a value of 46. R2 has a value of 100. So we've worked out the total resistance by just adding their individual resistances to find it's 146. And that means the current is going to be this potential difference divided by the resistance of that circuit, which was 0 0.062 amps. And I displayed this final answer to two significant figures, but I used my raw data, the, the raw uh, calculated value, when I looked at the potential difference across R1 and the potential difference across R2. Now again, all I did was apply the equation V equals I times R. Um, if we know the current through it and the resistance of this component, we can find out the potential difference across it. And what's quite interesting to note is that if you add these two potential differences together, they then are equal to the potential difference of the battery. So all we've done in this circuit is we split that potential difference and effectively the resistor with a higher resistance has a greater potential difference across it than the resistor with a lower resistance. And then for the final one, again, I just showed this equation here, not forgetting, of course, that in one day, we're going to have 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. And then we use this value for the current, multiplied by the resistance to find the value to two significant figures was 7.3 volts.